Hi there, welcome to the video on starting your first print with Palette 2 via SD card or USB. For this video, we assume you've already sliced a file for Palette in Canvas. If you have not already done this, please see the link in the description called Getting Started with Canvas. For this video, we also assume you are not using a Canvas Hub or Octoprint. If you are using a Palette 2 with Canvas Hub or Octoprint, see the other link in the description below. Great, let's get started. Here we are on Canvas. We imported our files, selected our print profile, dragged colors onto our model, and clicked Slice. Now all we have to do is click download. Canvas will output a zipped folder that contains our desired files. If we open it in a file browser, we will see two files. We suggest you export these files into a folder on your computer. As you can see, we have a print file. For this machine, it's a G-code file, and we'll use that on our printer. The second file is an MAF file, which is the file type that is used for a Palette 2 in accessory mode. Next, we'll move the print file onto an SD card or USB drive, whichever your printer uses. Then, we'll move the MAF file onto the SD card that came with the Palette 2. Now, we have our printer file for our printer either on our USB or SD card here, and we have our MIF file on our SD card for Palette 2 here. If we insert our printer SD card, we will see that the file name is the same as the project name in Canvas. Next, we will insert the SD card into the Palette 2 like so. Before starting our print, I would like to remind you to make sure you have selected the proper outgoing tube length that you are going to use in this print. Palette 2 comes with a small and medium outgoing tube. Palette 2 Pro comes with these and a larger tube. The length of these tubes are shown in centimeters. Here is where it is located on the Palette 2 menu. Great! Now we're ready to go. We'll select Start Print and select the SD card icon. We can see that the file shows up is also the same as our project name on Canvas. We simply select the file to begin. Palette 2 will now initialize. Since this is the first time setting up a Palette 2 with this printer, the screen will prompt us for additional information. The screen will also prompt you to remove Palette 2's outgoing tube to remove any excess filament that may remain in the Palette 2 from its last print. Your palette might not have filament here, but we suggest checking as a precaution. Now that we've removed the filament, we can replace the outgoing tube and put it back into the pallet tube. Now that we've completed this, we select finish on the screen. Now we will be prompted to load our filaments. The names of the filaments correspond to the colors we selected in canvas. Now that we have loaded our filament, Palette 2 will prompt us to preheat the printer's extruder while Palette 2 starts making filament. Next, we will be prompted to load a clear or light colored filament into our printer's extruder. We're trying to use the light filament to purge the nozzle. Purging the nozzle with this light colored filament will help us see when to stop loading filament from Palette into the printer. This step is only needed when using Palette with a new printer for the first time. Here, we can see the light filament clear out of the nozzle. Once the nozzle is clear, you can either remove the filament or extrude the rest of the piece through the nozzle. Now we wait for the Palette to make filament. While we wait, Palette 2's top cover is held on using magnets and can be removed during operation. You can use this to watch Palette as it makes filament for your print.
At this point, we should see a small bit of filament come out of the outgoing tube. Pallet screen instructs us to feed that into the printer's extruder gear. We only need to move the extruder a couple of millimeters for this, just enough for the extruder to grip the filament. Once we are sure the extruder has gripped the filament, hit next. This applies for all printers, including Deltas and Bowdens. We're simply trying to make sure the gears grip onto the filament. Pallet 2 will instruct us to secure the outgoing tube into the extruder clip like so. At this point, we are prompted to jog the filament through the extruder until we see the very next appearance of the new color. We want to stop loading the filament immediately when we see the new color. This is why we loaded the clear filament into the extruder before, to help us see the new color more easily. Watch as we stop the extruder as soon as we see the color change. Now hit next, and you're done! Now the pallet 2 and the printer are calibrated. If we select next, we are then allowed to select whether or not we want the setup tutorial on every print, which you can turn back on at any point after loading a print. Or we can select finish to start our pallet print. After selecting finished, all we have to do is start the print on our printer. This video showed you what it's like to print with a Palette 2 for the first time on a new printer. To see what it's like starting a print during regular operation and a time lapse of a Palette print, see this video. For more instructional videos and information, check out the rest of our channel as well as the links in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or connect with us at support at mosaicmfg.com.